Hey, it's Summer with HammondsNest.com, and I'm so excited to show you a new take on one of my most popular projects, which was a glowing glass pumpkin. Now, in my original tutorial, I left it plain glass. Here, I'm using a really cool technique where I took some Mod Podge and some acrylic paint. I used the color Folk Art Cinnamon, and I mixed it. So, I basically tinted the Mod Podge, and now I am going to paint the inside of the glass bowl now, this is like a fish bowl candle holder i got it from dollar tree uh they carry a couple different sizes this is the bigger of the two sizes so while that's drying you can work on this next part or if you're like me and you stuck your finger in wet paint a few times you might want to wait till the inside's dry until you attempt this but um anyway this uh step is going to require you to have some jute rope or whatever you want to create the sections of a pumpkin and I just measured and I'm just hot gluing um, in the spots to get it to stick to the glass. Uh, you will be working really closely with hot glue if you do it this way. So some finger protectors can go a very long way and keep you from burning your fingers. I picked up the pink ones I get asked about all the time. We're just a three pack that I found at Dollar Tree as well, but they sell them on Amazon and some other craft stores. But I'm just kind of measuring these out, keeping the rope really nice and tight while gluing will make your pumpkin look really, really good, I think. So that's just a little tip. Also in prepping this glass for everything we've done, painting it and hot gluing to it, you will want to clean your glass with some rubbing alcohol. I use 90% and it works really well getting stripping all those greases and oils so you get really great adhesion. But that technique with the Mod Podge and the paint makes that paint stick a lot nicer on the inside. I really love how it turned out. This will not be the last time you see me use that technique. Now it's just time to embellish this cute little pumpkin. I'm using some Spanish moss and a little stick stem that I picked up at Dollar Tree as well and a bigger, it came with a lot of them. So be on the lookout for those. And then I'm pulling out my favorite greenery. If you've been following along with me for a while, you will know I use this often. I'm creating some little tendrils with a wire and I'm just gonna get that all glued in place. Now, you can head over to my blog at hammondsnest.com and you will see the tutorial from the original one I did where I just left the glass plain. And uh, maybe that will inspire you, you know, if you wanna watch that tutorial as well. It's just really classy looking, but this one with the paint, I think is gonna be really fun to change up any colors you want. Use a bunch of different shades of orange or even white would be really, really pretty. Um, and as far as creating the glowing glass look, you're gonna see me pop a flameless votive uh, inside and I'll show you what it looks like with the lights on and the lights off. And then like some twinkling fairy lights or not twinkling, the ones I have don't twinkle, but it, maybe you have some twinkling fairy lights and those are a really good option too. It's just so, uh, it's cute, it's so sweet. Can you imagine these kind of together, maybe even like on a dining room centerpiece or just in any fall gathering. I can't wait to see your versions. Thanks for watching, have a great day.